gates are back and they're racing. And they got away to a fair start. Gypsy Express came out running. She's straight off to the early leader. Scotman free striding in second. Fair advantage. Races it there outside. A length off the pace. Now raced up into second as a Scotman drops into third. Bristol Hercules, a lot more economical against the inside, is fourth. Kept company by Oriental Charm. Then two lengths away to Infrared. Unicorn Alert. Aquamarine Body. And Black Cap at his outside. Fibonacci won from last. And Oliver totally switched off. Ridden for luck with 1,000 metres left to run. Gypsy Express is in front takes them along the leader by just over one length fair advantage is second third place is escarpment then comes bristol hercules and oriental charm they together infrared is next best then came unicorn alert oliver and fibonacci are the last two Homeward bound, they went past the 600. Gypsy Express brought them into the home straight. Fair Advantage makes a run towards the inside, being tracked by Bristol Hercules. Oriental Charm, Escarpment, they making forward moves. Further back to Infrared, that's in the red sleeves and the yellow cap. Oliver goes inwards. Unicorn Alert was further back as they now hit the final 300 metres. Oriental Charm, Escarpment, Fair Advantage, Infrared, they further back. Fibonacci having a go at them. Then comes Unicorn Alert. The leader is Oriental Charm, but just Fibonacci at the outside outside then comes in for red but oriental charm found again oriental charm the winner second goes the way of fibonacci then came unicorn alerts and infrared and then there were a number of lengths away to gypsy express so the winner is uh, racing in great boats the standard aquamarine colors oriental charm was neatly placed in a midfield position and uh, picked up the leap. And I like the way that he kept forging away over 1,400 metres for the first time. It's uh, probably not a bad future ahead after all with number three Oriental Charm as he takes his career earnings towards 150,000 rand with this fluent win today. Jackpot carryover starts the race number five. That's due to get underway at 20 past three. Thank you very much, MJ. We're going to have the winning jockey with us in just a moment. Well done to Grant for NECAC. It's turned out to be a good day at the office thus far. Grant, um, I know one or two RG bargy stories up the lane. Uh, perhaps you can just take us through that, but uh, on that note, well done to you as well. Yeah, um, not quite sure what happened. Um, you know, the, the wind is pumping and um, you're dealing with horses that's still, um, you know, maturing. Um, so it's, uh, every race can't be run smoothly or we try, but it doesn't always happen that way. Um, but uh, big up to this horse, I think he's a horse that, uh, you know, still plenty of improvement to come from him. And Penny hasn't quite dropped in him yet. He's still a big baby, but um, he gave me quite a nice feel today. Well done on the double, Grant. Thank you to obviously the Brick Roofer and to, you know, the old boards team and Gina. Well done. Thanks so much. Super. There we go. He's on the double already. He's Grant for Niekirk. I'm going to get you back to Vicky, who's standing by with the winning connections. Well done to Brett Crawford. Well done to Greg Boards, to Leon Elman, to Miss Gina Goldsmith. And as Alistair mentioned, great to have Judd at the races as well to soak up victory this afternoon. Indeed, lovely to have all the connections uh, on, or most of the connections on track. With regards to the son of Bruce Getrix, Brett Rush, Evely stayed in with me is Brett Crawford. Brett, well done. Thanks, Vicky. Lovely what's up. Well, he, he showed that first time out and thankfully has returned to that type of form. Yeah, he, he just started doing things a bit wrong. He, he was over racing and we changed the bit on him and changed some headgear on him. Um, brought him back to Kenworth, gave him two runs down the straight, which were both two very good runs. Um, obviously he's bred to go a lot further so we're, we were always looking forward to putting him around the turn but just trying to teach him to do things right and I must say he did it all right today um, you know he was in a perfect position uh, Grant settled him and then when he asked him to, to stretch in the straight he, he did that um, he ran in a bit towards uh, the, you know halfway down the straight but then straightened up and ran to the line well so I, th I thought it was a win full of merit uh, he's a beautiful horse uh, he's growing he's still immature so you know I think um, he, he's Definitely, like Ron says, a horse that uh, we'll have some fun with. Great, well done for the win. Yeah, just a big thanks to Gina and to Greg and to Leon. I think hopefully Leon got to see the race. Um, and very nice to have Judd on course. I think he's the lucky charm. <laughs> Indeed, well done, Brett. Then uh, Greg's going to come and join me on stage. And Well, early on we saw Judge Judd on the sidelines and now he's here cheering you on. Yeah, fantastic. It's been a while since we've had a, had a winner together, so I'm glad, I'm thrilled that he's here. With regards to this horse, as both Brett and Grant have touched on, he's been a little bit immature, but he's a big, he's sort of a big beefy guy that's still coming on. Yeah, so right from the beginning, Brett was just urging patience and just like I, he had 
confidence and belief in this horse. You know, I reminded Brett that I picked him at the sale and then he corrected me and told me it was him that picked it. Um, but yeah, no, so Brett's been, he knew he would get to the bottom of him and he most certainly has and I think there's a lot more to come. I think that you need to remind Gina also that this is one for your, your side of the line. I'm never winning that argument, <laughs> ever. You can try, try as you might. I can hear you. <laughs> well done, Greg. Thanks so much, Vicky. Appreciate it. Well done. Yeah, can I just, obviously, obviously, a big thanks to, to Brett. Great ride to Grant. So thanks to everybody. And also good result because uh, Unicorn it was also leaping up. Yes, uh, sorry. And to Chevrolet for, for breeding it. Yeah, it was great to have two Verse and Gatorixes that we bought a bunch at that sale, run first and third. So very happy about that. Indeed, well done. Thanks, Fix. Well done to uh, Greg Boards for the, the win with uh, number three, Oriental Charm. As all the connections have mentioned, he is just a horse that is maturing. So keep an eye on him. He uh, showed that first time out and most certainly will have more to come. But uh, if just a touch on number six, Infrared Props, really a little bit unlucky if you watch the head-on. He uh, had to check a few times just to try to find a clear run. But uh, take nothing away, number three, Oriental Charm. He's hinted at ability and I don't think he'll stop here. And now Hollywood Bets winning groom for race number four is Milo. Milo, a major, major congratulations. Milo works for Crawford Racing. Milo, please tell everyone here on course and at home, how long have you been working for Mr. Crawford for? This is my second year and then uh, also second win from him. 100% Milo, second win, Oriental Charm, your baby, your star, as well as the star of race number four. Ladies and gentlemen, a major congratulations to Leon Eelman, Mr. Greg Bortz, and the fabulous Miss Gina Goldsmith. Oriental Charm, ready to charm you. Ladies and gentlemen, on to race number five.